think I'm going to have to start to spread my religion a lot more now. Hagia Sophia. This has got to be an adjacent to a holy site. I think that's the only rule on that one, but I think I might pick up that wonder as well. That might be the one I rush and I can start to spread my religion really nicely. Amani is going to give me two envoys in Jerusalem. That'll give me the worship building improvements. I'm just going to stick one in that city state and otherwise I think I'm going to spend the other two on going for... None of them really matter after this point, do they? I can't really get the benefits of any, so I'm going to hang on to my envoy until I can make a move on something else. Actually, scrap that. I'm going to put one on Preslav and one on Samarkand. That'll give me the two. Oh no, just the one because I got the wrong policy card in. Oh, never mind. That was a silly move. Oh well. This missionary and another 200 gold. Man, it makes a huge difference. It's brilliant. I'm just about to put down two campuses. Oh, that gave me a lot of extra science because of the additional science there we go look at this that's a three science tile up there in that mountain look at these oh no those are good those are good tiles can we just have a points to roam for the expansion they have done so well in fact let's have a quick look at the score i think i'm still in last but i'm catching up now but the empire score is the interesting one so 168 uh Trajan actually is in last on empire wow i have more empire than they do uh amanatore is doing the best she is the one spreading around the most she's up to 226 science gotta keep an eye on her we don't want her running off but uh you can also see that trajan is starting to pick up a couple of tourists now not many but a couple can't let my culture dip too low gotta remember to be doing things to keep that up okay buttress is now done so i can't build the kill one as of a kill where i'm looking at but i can't build the where is it gone the doop -a doop -a doop -a doop -a doop the hagia sophia in my capital there's just not enough space around my holy site but this city can so i'm going to build it down here i think that is the best use of a seador i can come up with this is setting myself up for some sort of crazy religion victory here using faith to get faith of course oh those are good tiles already look at that these are good mountain tiles. In fact, actually, let's just quickly lock that in and lock it out. Perfect. Okay, these are all being worked. This is going to be an amazing central city, actually, once that all gets put in. And don't forget, these will get better. It's later into the game, but when the sanctuary comes out, two science, two gold, and two production in all of those mountain tiles on top of all of this. Oh, when barbarian caravels get in your way, pray ancient walls into existence. That's right. The gods will answer you. And then you can just sort of sit in your walls and fling things at people. You know, I've actually got to be a little bit careful about a religious victory here. Panmaker has managed to subtly convert Nubia to them as well. So, you know, if I wasn't going religious, I'd have to start thinking about it soon anyway. Hajar Sophia is very slow, but now... Okay, actually, that does a huge chunk. Fair play. It's working well. It's working well. I'm just kind of holding fire until the next era. I want to get myself the evangelist era and, and then chuck religion at people and I think we're going to go straight we're going to go straight for the belly of the beast I'm going to take out this religion I'm going to go straight for the Cree I think it's an easy thing to do it's just too good a religion not to spread look at this boom 350 gold very good every time you build a shrine it gives you four faith every time you get a temple it gives you seven these are working so well Oh my word, look how many great works Rome has got. They've done so well. We're going to have to actually start genuinely thinking about buying these sometime. They did just offer me one, so that's a good thing. I'd like to build units with less faith, please, because I've got loads of that, and I would love it if my mountain goats had more religious combat. It's unlikely to go through. It's unlikely to go through. No, it did go through. Oh my goodness. Right, this is going to be the time. So we've got guilds. Now we go for Reformed Church, I'm going to get myself the plus 5 religious strength, put in the policy card that gives me plus 5 strength, and then we're going to send apostles to the enemy lands like a nutter. I'm going to also go for Moksha, who is going to start plonking themselves down on a nice perimeter city, uh, such as this one down here, and we're going to start promoting you up. Nine turns, by the way, to get myself the Golden Age. It's very crucial, very crucial that we get this golden age because if we don't our whole religious push is going is to be for nothing right monument, now that is the first step in this that is a bunch of treasure. era score 
but it's also Lesson missionaries and apostles spreading religion one extra time. Which would be a grand Huge idea. difference. Massive, remain a massive difference. In fact, actually, I should give myself the ability to turn my apostles into relics as well. That would be cool. So now, if I produce a missionary on uh, any city with a mosque, they'll have five charges. But I'm just going to hang on, because if I do it in a golden age, it'll go to seven charges. Eleven era score, by the way. Eleven era score. That's what I've got to get to. I think we should be able to do it. I haven't done a couple of things that would be helpful, like getting boats. I'm just trying to see if there's any cheap great people. There are. So I can get things like great merchants. This would be a fantastic one. Actually, I could use 750 faith to get him and he'd give 300 it back. So that's, I mean, that merchant is a fantastic thing. The letter's just been lost. Luckily, I had a spare envoy just for this. I can just make sure Trajan hasn't got it. That'll annoy him. These mosques are so good. 300 faith. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes it back so quickly. So quickly. So we're up to 272 per turn. I can almost make a, a, a whole mosque every turn. It, it's, it's just nuts. And I can build Stonehenge. I mean, sure. Why, why not? Why should we not build Stonehenge? Let's just do it. And this is what could be the most pointless city ever, but I'll just plop it down. Great. We'll go and work that uh, little little foxy boy over there. And if I prioritize getting this tile in so that I can now put a preserve down there. Lovely. Now look at oh, these mountains are just gorgeous. Easy. I mean, the yields are just going to get better and better and better. That's the best bit about the whole thing. Oh, yep, yep, that was what I was doing. That's why I was saving the faith. Cool, yep. <laughs> stick, to, stick to one thing, Ryan. 15 population city. That is great. Like and there's Reformed Church. That'll give me theocracy. Okay. Uh, we're building settlers. I'm getting holy sites. We are getting builders. I think that's fine for now. Those are all good cards to have. But wars of religion, that's always interesting. I think we'll go for craftsmen to get ourselves the industrial adjacency bonus. That's a lovely thing indeed. And I would quite like to have something like limes to get my walls up nice and quickly. Perfect. That was a good old chunk of era score. I only need five of it left now. Only five. I think it's time to start building some theater squares. Don't you? Just picked up a cultural alliance with the Cree. That has unlocked more of the map for me. And I think a scientific alliance. Oh, yes. Oh, they really want a scientific alliance. They're going so crazy on the old science, but they were willing to pay me quite handsomely for that. Okay, the Cree. Yeah, they've spread their religion nicely. Very nicely. Look at that. Oh, and Moreau has just got its religion. Okay, that should distract the computer for a little bit. They've gone for choral music. Fine. Uh, I have 12 cities following my religion, 20 for the computer, but that's okay. I think we're just going to beeline, take it over. Could be could be fun. Are they at war? Ooh, oh yeah, the Cree and Rome are at war. Nice. And they're going to denounce me because they are at war without with my ally. I mean, what I was going to say was it looks like they have brought like... <laughs> They brought slingshots to a gunpipe because they've got warriors everywhere, but no, there are man at arms and they have somehow sieged this city, but they have just another uh, against a pike and shot. So that might be the end of that attack for Rhone. That's the merchant I was looking at though. Oh, and we're going to pick up Imhotep as well. He's brilliant. Okay, cool. So that's three era score. I've got four turns to find some uh, other era score. I should be able to do that fairly easily. Two turns, but there's Imhotep. Okay, you can obviously use him to make other points, so that's really cool. In fact, actually, I should be able to rush Stonehenge with him. Unless I rush the Mausoleum first. Actually, the Mausoleum could be a good way of getting a bunch of era score. Why do we do that? I think we're going to do that. Okay, cool. Right, so we'll work on that one in a second. I think what I can do is just upgrade to a Man at Arms, and there we go. That's the first iron unit I've used. I still had boats, I still had horses. There were ways that I could have stretched that a little bit further, but that felt like a good option for me at that point. Good. Perfect stuff. The Renaissance era, otherwise known as the era in which my the religion starts to get a bit of an airing. So, no more settler building. I think we're fine on that one for now. We've got scripture coming through. That's good. I think I would quite like it if I could pick up religious orders. That's a really good one. And uh, builders, we're just going to hold fire on for now so that I can get gothic architecture. Perfect stuff. Now that lets me just sort of get these wonders rolling nicely. 
and where is it? Exodus of the Evangelists. Extra movement, extra charges, extra everything. It's just a lovely thing. Now this city with Moksha in it, uh, it has a mosque. So if I put an apostle down, for instance, that would give me a, yeah, the perfect one. But I'm going to save that until Moksha has all of his um, upgrades. We're just going to pick up missionaries and that should have, yep, yeah, seven spreads. Okay, this is going to be good. I believe I can do the same from this city. Uh, these all have seven spreads as well. Yep, they absolutely do. Perfect. We're just going to <laughs> just going to throw a load. Little theatre square popping up in this city. Oh, do you see that? Look at all the extra culture around these mountains. That'll start to push it up because I do need to make sure that Rome doesn't run away with this culture victory. So that will be a good thing to do if we can do it. I mean, I'm not I'm not worried. I think Rome is nowhere near getting a culture victory right now. So we'll just sort of keep an eye on that. But it's always worth, always worth just making sure that they don't, you know, just creep up towards the end. Six movement. These things are so quick. Yes. Perfect. Okay, we are just, we're, we're just going to make, <laughs> we're allied to them. There's nothing they can do. We're just going to start converting Cree cities. They're going to hate this immediately. Sorry. Grievance time. Yeah, there will be consequences. That just got me a bunch of gold. And now I'm going to use my gold to just equip my nation with fun things like, I mean, universities would be good, but I think other buildings like chanceries are not a bad idea, actually. Or do I just stop the Roman culture victory by stealing their great works? Now, they're unlikely to properly sell these to me because they don't like me. Actually, they're playing ball better than I thought they would. They'll sell me four books to start with. That'll do. Great. Okay, well, I mean, I've got so many spaces for them. I'm just sort of sticking them in my uh, capital for now. But yeah, that's good. That just will blunt their tourism attack a little bit against me. These things move so quickly. It's great. It's great. Just whiz on through and boom, another 350 gold for me. Thank you so much. And we are going to start generating writer points here. Not many, but enough to hopefully pick up a single writer. Now that would be fun. Keep an eye out for apostles. They're likely to send quite a few at me because what I'm doing is very much against their win condition here. Not that it matters. I mean, I'm just I'm having a whale of a time already. Wee! Still getting all the extra points. And hopefully this will be enough to, bam, another 200 gold. Very good. Just send these ones through and then that should be enough as well. Bam, 150 gold. And then you just sort of go back to Rome and you're like, hi Rome. Do you want to just, I mean, what can I get from the Rome shop today? Another two books. Thank you so much. I <laughs> built Stonehenge. <laughs> Why? Why? I just like Stonehenge. Right Especially just any circle say, made right, of stone just really gets like me, that. you know? I look at it and think, wow, what a pinnacle of human achievement. What does this apostle give me? It gives me spread religion two extra times. Uh, you know what? That's actually not too bad. Let's use you. Perfect. I've no need for inquisitors at the moment, so that's that's fine. Another four books from Rome. Yeah, they are just like laying them off on me. And look how many different like works of writing slots I've got. It's 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 good. As I say, I don't think I'm going for a tourism victory today, but this just helps. Just helps to stop Rome from walking away with it. Valletta now follows my religion. 400 gold. Huzzah. Okay, they do have apostles just wandering around. So you have to be a little bit careful here. I cannot afford to have my missionaries die because they will just, I mean, all of that work will just be immediately undone. Gurus, I can I can put up with gurus. That's fine, but it's just everything else. Oh, the problem is it, anytime there's a religious unit there, it just knocks all the movement out of missionaries. They're really, really bad at taking over like contested territory. Cardiff now follows my religion of 350 gold. Hello, Rome. <laughs> Like all I'm doing with my money right now. Oh, they went straight to the Pingala. Oh, for goodness sake. Spies, eh? I mean, my capital, Magnus, I mean, that proves it. They just, they saw Pingala in a city and were like, right, we'll go for that one. I mean, Magnus is probably doing more for me right now, but... Oh, well. What are you going to do? As I'm building districts in this sort of small belt between the mountains, look at the yield starting to, starting to spiral up here. That's, that's pretty cool. Oh, these mountains are very, very healthy tiles now. Where's that apostle? Oh, there are two apostles and they are not debaters. Okay, fine. That's that's a little bit good. So it means I can just sort of 
avoid them to an extent and wait until my missionaries have like used all their charges and disappear. So that works a little bit well. And also if I keep converting their cities they might just get a bit distracted and use them on my cities rather than my missionaries but we'll see. 450 gold from Taruga. Nice. And what about Putali? Get that next turn as well. How's my writer progress coming? Oh I've almost managed to force a great writer through. That's that's awesome. Okay, yeah, they are beginning to attack my missionaries. How many charges has this one got left? Two? Oh, well, that's fine. I'm just going to try and burn him before he dies. In the meantime, Putali, bam, follows me as well. Oh, Rome! <laughs> I have more money. Now, it seems like they are a little bit more stingy on how much money they want for their 4-4 four -four works of writing. They are a little bit more expensive. I think, I mean, you can see why, but like, they, I think that they seem to be artificially more, but okay, no, that's good. I've, I've got the expensive ones. That's fine. In fact, where are the expensive ones? Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. There's a four one. I'll put that in my capital and I'll stick this one in my capital as well. Good. Oh, that one, that one hurt. That was a big old hit. Okay, right. We'll just burn him quickly and then you've got one charge left as well. Good. That's done. Okay, 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 okay. This is, this, I've, like, I've actually timed this perfectly. My missionaries have got just enough charges to be a pain. That was uh, 600 gold I just got for converting that city. Yeah, they've got enough charges to be a pain, but not enough that they are sticking around here for so long that I can't get rid of them when I need to. Perfect. And there's the writer. I actually have my own great writer. Exciting. More gold, please. Boom. Another 300. Thank you so much. Imagine if I'd, oh, if I picked the science instead of gold. That would have been pretty crazy as well. Yep, just like I thought they'd run their apostles all the way back, but it's too late because I've just stolen this city. 750 gold and then I've legged it. Let's go and see what Nubia does about this. They have a bit more, like they've, I mean, yes, okay, that's fine. Generate grievances, but they've just started their religion, but they haven't got too much Emphasis on it. Two cities at the moment. They've got their holy city, Moreau, and one of these little island cities. So, hoping they won't be too difficult to convert. Is that the Cree converted now? I think it might be. They're likely to undo it, but I think I have now converted them to my religion. Yes, I have. <laughs> I love it when they have tiny little two population cities. That counts as another win for me, and I had to do very little about it. Unfortunately, I can't get rid of the last city, which I believe is their holy city, but we pegged them back royally. It's going to take them some time to get back from that one, so I can just recover my faith whilst I send a bunch of missionaries towards um, Nubia, and I've got some missionaries now going to finish Rome off. It shouldn't take too long, actually. In fact, this apostle has actually managed to meet up from the other direction, so there we go. It's just... Nubia we need to convert now uh, who are here. So what I'm gonna do is we'll get civil engineering and I'm gonna beeline towards the top here towards conservation because I'd love to just buy a few sanctuaries before we finish this game up. I think they're gonna look beautiful. Just going around buying monuments and all the cities that haven't got them. I had put them in most cities to be fair but anything that just just tweaks the culture up a little bit I'm just rushing towards conservation Pingala ready? Yeah, he can get back into the city. Good. You do that. You need to be safe and secure. I love these bursts of gold. I could get I could get used to this. This is oh, it's brilliant. 598 all of a sudden. I'm almost on industrialization and I've had got a couple of um, industrial zones scattered around my nation, so just buying in factories, that'll help. I've got Mont Saint Michel up. That'll be appearing in a second as well. Oh, these missionaries have so many charges. They just keep going and going and going and going. It's brilliant. I think I'm, I'm only a few cities now. Only a few cities away from winning this one. There's Rome. This is going to be a huge gold chunk. 650 gold. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All the Cree are quickly undoing the damage. We have a limited amount of time here, actually, but I might even be able to do it this turn. Hang on, let's just quickly think about this. I think Hare's got the smallest population out of everything. So we'll go after this one. Oh, not quite, not quite. How many charges? Four spreads left, three spreads left. I think we should be able to do it next turn. And I give you more groves, including, look at that tile there. Oh, yes, that's a handsome tile. It's going to be it. That's it. 
There's the religious victory. I felt good about that one, seeing as the Cree had absolutely spread their religion like mad on this map. It was insane how hard they we went on it. It was a small little game, but my word, Tibet was a lot of fun. I would massively, massively recommend you give them a go. This is a Neville Chamberlain sort of game. Oh dear. <laughs> I love how small he is compared to Winston Churchill. It's like one is a slightly considered to be a failure of a prime minister and one is not. So there we go. Buildings constructed. I managed to just about keep up with Rome there. Um, captured. Only Rome took a city. Interesting. I think it was a city-state and cities founded. Oh man, I didn't even found the most cities. I was, I was nice and condensed there. Rome's culture was ins just insane. I loved it. Nubia's science game. Wow, the, the, the AI was really having a good go there. If it wasn't for me just absolutely blitzing the religion game, I mean, it would have been relatively difficult to take them on. But, you know, we're players. Even Deity++, plus plus, we're always going to win this, aren't we? Let's be honest. Uh, only a few wonders, but the ones that I built were good. Total religions founded, good. Good. The three that you would expect on a map like this. Rome just showed no interest in it. They were like, yeah, go on, man. Give me your religion. That's that's fine. But okay, there's industrialization. We are going to win this map fairly easily. Let's just have a quick look at the greatest cities. You can see, ah, my capital is the fifth best in the world. And I've got the seventh best as well. Rome and Moreau are the two cities that it is worth living in. Look at it. It's a gorgeous city. It's got the Colosseum. Rome has the Colosseum. Rome gets the victory. You have the honorary victory, my friend. That is just brilliant. I, I love how heavily Rome went in on the culture game today. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I really like this AI mod. Like when the computer decides, right, this is my victory condition, it goes for it. Look, Nubia went for science. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six campuses all in very decent locations. So that's pretty cool as well. The Cree were kind of out of everyone in the middle the most. Like they, they kind of, I, I got the feeling they hadn't really decided what they were going to do this game apart from spread religion. I think they were going for the religious victory. They might also be going for diplomacy. Sometimes if the computer goes for diplomacy, it looks like they're not really doing anything, but they are. It's just, you know, you can't see it to the naked eye. Here we go. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to dump all my uh, diplomatic favor into gold. We're going to get things like factories running in my capital. And I'm just going to quickly push through until I can unlock sanctuaries, because I think this is going to be entertaining to watch. There was Mont Saint Michel, by the way. Look at that. Beautiful wonder. So all of my apostles, which I was just about to start an apostle spam for, I didn't need to in the end, would have been double promoted and would have had Martyr, which is actually really good. If you don't have Yerevan and you get Martyr and all your apostles, it doesn't come up as an option. So you have a better chance of getting the ones that you want. And here we go. We have hit conservation. I raced a little bit ahead just so I could show you the glory of this. Now, don't forget, like, the two food from the mountain thing. I mean, it's, it's okay, but, like, this is what a mountain looks like if I'm just sort of own it next to a city. They're not that good a tile. Like, Tibet, the thing about this mod is that it's actually incredibly balanced. It's very well synchronized, and I actually think the ability to get works of writing uh, is, is fantastic when you use missionaries. I got a three writer out of it, and I wasn't really trying to get writers at that point. I was content that Rome was getting them all so well that I could just sort of pinch them from him, so it wasn't so good. But, like, the unique holy site is amazing. That cheaper purchases with Golden Faith... I mean, oh, I didn't really even use the governor titles. I, I find you don't actually need that many governor titles in a game once you've got Pingala and Magnus up and running. But I, I mean, we could have done that better. But the problem with that, actually, is if you've got one of these districts with at least four mountains around it, you end up putting a preserve around it because preserves are just so much better. But this is what we were managing to do. Now, this um, particular mountain, for instance, has got two preserves around it, uh, as well as a city centre. It's got several districts within two tiles, so like a, a holy site here, a uh, theatre square there, an industrial zone was just about being built, so that would have put another production on it. So it's stacking already. That tile was worth six food, five faith, one science, five culture. Weirdly, you end up using your faith a lot more than you would normally do. Getting faith with Tibet is so important because production is actually pretty low. Now, the other thing I'd noticed as well is that the appeal on the ground tiles, so your non-mountain tiles, doesn't matter at all. Like, I don't need those tiles to be getting the extra science. So I'm 
you know, I was just chopping things. I was putting mines down. I was putting industrial zones down because ultimately it doesn't matter. Mountain tiles are always breathtaking. They're always plus four, regardless of what's around them. So you can just get away with doing that. But this is the bit we were waiting for. Welcome to the sanctuary. It gives two breathtaking tiles, two science, two gold, and two production. So when I do this, bam. Oh yes, those, those are tiles. <laughs> <laughs> and of course I can get them with faith as well. Faith produces more faith. Bam, even better. That, I mean, look at that tile. That there is a tile. Five science, four food, five culture, four faith, four gold, four production. Imagine if you were playing Void Singers and you were converting this 365 faith into gold and science and culture. That would have been, oh, I mean, it would have been brilliant. Let's get another sanctuary there. Look at these, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, I'll get another one over there. Oh, that's not even the one I was meaning to do. I was meaning to do this one. Look at this. These yields are just, they're something else, aren't they? So like, if I <laughs> just sort of show you this and it's all its glory, hang on. Oh yes. That, that's screenshot territory, isn't it? <laughs> can, you, can you tell where the thumbnail's gonna come from? Look at that. It's just filthy and I love it. What a mod. If you've got a little bit of spare time, you fancy playing a little bit of a game, I would wholeheartedly recommend that you come to Discord and get the mod and the mat. You see what I did there? It's very clever. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Davalex, Trevor Daskby, Paul Coffey, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Portland, Petra Ryan, and Matthew Hatch. For all of your support and for everybody that generally helps the channel to thrive, thank you all very much. See you next time.